So as you may know, a new season of Overwatch Competitive has released, Season 6. Hey guys, this is Anthony and today we're going to be talking about why you should hate Overwatch Competitive. So, um, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of backstory before I begin with my reasons why I fucking despise this competitive game to the extent that I do. But at one point, I actually liked it, funnily enough. So, a couple of months ago, no, like a... Like a year ago. No, not even a year ago. Anyway, season three. Season three comes out of Overwatch Competitive. I'm down to play it. I've been spending hours upon hours and upon hours of playing this game. It, it literally, I was in love with it. I was infatuated with the scent of this game. The taste. But anyway, I decided to go onto competitive because I was like, you know what? I want to show my skills. I want to try and get to a high rank and I want to show my friends that I'm the best at Overwatch, which I, um, that, that's a, that's very debatable. Anyway, <laughs> um, so I play about a couple of ma like ten matches, like you normally do, and out of those ten matches, I think I won six of them, and basically I was put into silver. Hi, silver. It's still silver. Silver shit. But I mean, no offense to people that are silver. But I mean, come on, bro. Like silver, really, really, my neighbor. <laughs> then again, I was silver too, so I shouldn't be judging. But anyway, I played the game. I continued playing. I was able to get into gold, and then I went back down to uh, silver, and eventually into bronze because I was just deteriorating. There was games where I just disconnected and I was just getting pissed off and I didn't really give a shit about the game anymore. And I kind of left it off and I continued playing quick play, the arcade, and all that fun shit. But then afterwards it kind of gets boring if you don't have that competitive feel, you don't feel the tension, the sweat. And that's why I believe Play Unknown Battlegrounds is an incredibly popular game. But that's for a whole new different video. So, a couple of months later, which is now, I decide to come onto Season 6. And I play season six and there was this problem with overwatch which really annoyed me and has annoyed a lot of people Overwatch if you don't know there's two ranks actually there's your SR which is public and then there's a rank underneath it I'm not sure what it's called but uh, Blizzard keeps tabs on it and they'll actually put your rank uh, they'll put you a bit lower to play with uh, lower ranks and it's very hard for you to actually like increase your rank and play with people that are actually your skill if blizzard have put you in the certain rank so let's say blizzard says that you're in bronze and you're playing way better than every single bronze bronze player you you can't get up and you automatically will be placed with bronze players so i kind of thought i was like you know what maybe they fixed it so i came back in to overwatch season six competitive guess what i see I see that I'm placed with bronze and silver players and I don't even have a rank yet. Like, what are you doing, Blizzard? Like, every season, I thought the, the, the point of a new season is that you get a clean slate, you can start again, and you can show what you're worth. You don't have to be placed in the category which Blizzard keeps under, which says, oh, okay, this player is bronze, so we're gonna continuously put him in bronze and silver players. So even if you win all 10 matches, if Blizzard's account is that you're on bronze or on silver, you stay in bronze and silver. It doesn't matter. And this is what happened with me because I, I've been playing, I played about six matches now. I've won four of them. And lost two. All matches have been placed with bronze and silver players. Two of those matches, my game crashed. Now, I don't know what's up with that, but that's besides the point. Now, essentially, what I don't understand is instead of being placed with unranked players, I'm being placed with bronze and silver players, and they don't even know my skill yet. It's like incredibly annoying for them to do this because you you're already underestimating yourself. You're already thinking, well. God, God damn, I, I, am I just that shit? I, am I just terrible? Which it might be my case, but a lot of people it isn't. And for example, the players in bronze and silver, the community is toxic, but so lovable at the same time. Honestly, I was seeing a Widowmaker run to the point on attack with her assault rifle, not even trying to snipe people. She's just running around with her gun shooting. Like, as the, and the assault rifle mode, I don't understand that. 
and that triggers me. And it's also the people that play, they get so triggered. It's like they they don't know how to play the game. It's like when they see someone who's better than them, they'll start like yelling and getting mad and shit. Like, calm down. It's just the game. And like, I feel like Overwatch competitive really needs an overhaul to to. to to basically accommodate for all these players that have improved over time and and for example me i'm not gonna spend hours upon hours playing overwatch i used to but overwatch isn't really something that i'm willing to dedicate like days upon days i'll play it every once in a while i would like to join a competitive game play like five com like no maybe not five but like three competitive games every every like two days or so but anyway um that was kind of my little rant about Overwatch competitive. Uh, what do you guys think about it? Honestly, I feel like they've been talking a lot of things about Season 6, but they have they haven't really done anything. It's like, they're still just f flipping us over. Like, come on, Blizzard. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And peace.